Marcus is a boy like no other. A wonderful musician. An intellectual messiah. Bro, come guys and come home. Say some gota, man. Yeah. Wait, this is coming today. Yeah, almost. Watch my home, sir. Bye. Just a few more minutes and we we'll work this out. <laughs> ah. You did it! Yes! That's it! That's the answer! You're a genius! I mean, thanks! <sighs> High five, man! Bye. And loved by all. But everything changed that fateful day. So, doctor, what was the result? Okay, Marcus. Mm -hmm. You have tested positive for cancer, mm -hmm. AIDS, and Ebola. <gasps> what? I'm very sorry. This, this... But you may have less than one day to live. <laughs> we'll remember you forever. Don't worry. Yeah. We'll believe in you. Yeah. A miracle will happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sure, a miracle will happen. If not, I'll take care of your wife. And By children. stealing her away. <laughs> what? Don't worry. What? what? Soon after, the cancer took his legs. The Ebola and AIDS overpowered his body and he soon left our world. His tale was a tragic one, just like so many others before him. Don't let this happen to you. Instead, follow the color down for a longer, healthier life. This is Adrian, a typical boy with a few typical friends, in his typical house, watching typical boy things. Adrian, I need to talk to you. Mom, we're in the middle of something. Adrian, it's serious, come on up. There were two people who were madly in love, but they never planned to get pregnant and have a family. They liked the excitement and freedom of their relationship, but the unexpected happened. I swear it was an accident. How dare you? Fine, I'm sorry. And I'll take full responsibility of everything. No, I'm gonna have an abortion. Don't abort my heart, baby. I don't know, just do it because I'm good now. Prevent your neural tube defect. 
Uh, do you want a baby to die? No, but no, you, I don't mind. It also helps cancer, like bladder and colon cancer. Please, do this for me. So since then, Carmen started eating her greens. She gave birth to a healthy and adorable baby and lived a long life. The end. Okay, here's an interesting one. This is Kyan's grandmother, Samantha. She absolutely hates orange and yellow food. As you can see, Sam did not take Kayan's advice and continued to repel orange and yellow food. But several months later... Tom Tao, where's my grandma? She's not in her usual room! Well, you see, your grandma, she was a very nice person. Tom Tao? She always used to say good morning, good afternoon, whenever she sees me. Tom Tao, tell me what happened to her! And same goes for the... Tell me what happened to my grandma. Oh, she's actually up there. 
Marcus is a boy like no other. <laughs> <laughs>